Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, a bonus Grim Fandango. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be one today, but I, I have to apologize because yesterday's episode was really subpar. Uh, and I apologize profusely for that. I'm stuck on the puzzles. I actually had to take hints from people on Reddit. Uh, luckily, there were no spoilers in those hints, though. It was just some uh, sort of um, hints at what I could try to do uh, to further along the story. Because, I mean, we want to see the story, right? We don't want to watch me for 40 odd minutes uh, accomplish nothing and not progress the story. We want to get through the story. We want to find out what's happening with Meche and stuff like that. So, again, I apologize. Yesterday's episode was not very good. Uh, and we're going to make up for it hopefully today with a triple whammy uh, bonus episode of this so that we can uh, get some progress done. Uh, and then there'll be another episode tomorrow and uh, probably one on Friday too. Um, so that we can start blitzing through this and hopefully get out of Rubicaba, right? I mean, come on, we've been here forever. Right. All right, Manny. Uh, first job then is to, uh, of course, do my signature uh, moving around in circles and doing nothing. Uh, no, I'm just joking. We want to go back to... What's this way again? Uh, no, we don't really want to go here. Uh, we want to go, I think, this way. To our first destination, which is... Now, i got to try to remember all these tips. I can't remember any of the tips, guys. Oh, no. No, I, okay, I know where to go. We have to go topside. We're gonna go topside. We don't need to go back into the blue casket. The blue. I'm done with the blue casket. I'm never going in there again. Uh, until, of course, we need to go in there again. But for now, let's just say I'm done with the blue casket. Up we go. Topside to... I was so close with this, apparently. I was so close. Um, but there you go. Here we go. I was trying to figure out a way to um, jog this guy into finding the dog tags that I left on here. Now, apparently... I have to give him the metal detector now. This is the thing. Because uh, in the dialogue options, he's complaining about not having good enough tools or whatever. All right, fine. So we'll use this with him now. Would a metal detector help the cause? How did I not try this? Hey, just like downtown. Oh, fantastic. There we go. You'll there. never know what this will turn on. No, you're an right. Engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name oh, on I it. Oh, I hope so. Who would wear a belt buckle <laughs> with the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, look, he's going to find the dog tags now. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, Salty is not going to be happy about this. <laughs> this is amazing. What? Velasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. Oh, my God. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. Naranja. What? Ja? How? Sprouted. That's but, right. Oh, this town's going to hell. Oh, Sarah salty. can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. That's right. He's yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. I'll come down in the morning. No, we're off on our boat in the morning, right? <sighs> All day long, Manny. I saw it through pure sadness. Oh, fuck. That was amazing. I find evidence... And I piece together stories. Good for you. None of my stories end well. They all end. Here. What are these stains the all over your jacket? Of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Oh my God! That guy could go like on the hip hop circuit with that. That's fantastic. All right, so uh, job done. We have managed to convince Salty now that Naranja, Naranja, sorry, is dead. He's been sprouted, even though, of course, he hasn't been. We just stole his dog tags while he was, um, you know, uh, knocked out by the uh, by the the hooch, the hookah that we <laughs> that we made from the sink uh, in the fucking holy shit. There's so many puzzles in this game. All right, next up, <laughs> we're going to. Where are we going again? God damn it. We're going to the VIP room. That's right. All right. VIP room. Here we come. Because despite all of my pixel hunting and still, apparently you can climb up this. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I mean, I would have never have done this. So thanks for letting me know that you could actually walk up this thing. 
so the hint was that you can actually walk up this thing and maybe do something. So, I, I mean, can I get into this thing now? Can I pick it up from I up here? I don't need the hernia. You don't want to live with a hernia, Manuel? There's no opening up here. All right. Fine. So, we want to use something to open this big barrel. Because uh, the point of the barrel is that we can get into the wine cellar, perhaps. And we're going to use the can opener. Is this going to work? Motherfucker. Look at this. All right. It's an automatic one, too. You don't have to get your hands and your arms all sore. All right. Are we in? Hop in, Manny. Oh, we're in. Great. Now we just well, have to wait for him to change the barrel. Is sleeping on the job. Oh, here we go. Goddess, don't eat you even there. Don't suck me out of this barrel. I'm trying to hide in here, you son of a bitch. Ah, it's empty. <laughs> That's me. Ruben, you? Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Hey, don't use that, Gladys. Oh, oh my god. A little nap -a -voo, eh? <laughs> nap -a -voo. Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy, anything you say. Too sweet. No wine. Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring Oh, shit, I got my scythe back. Then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Quit your belly aching, Renard, or whatever your name is. Jeez. Okay, so I don't even know why we need to get down here, really. Except that we weren't able to get down here. So where are all the empties? I guess some in this one. Oh, uh, yeah, here I am. Oh, my God. There's a forklift down here. There's a forklift down here. Here we go. What do we want to do? Do we want to actually, like, steal a barrel or something? For what? Do we have to just, like, cause a ruckus so that we can get Domino out of the... All right, here we go. Fucking, oh God. What do we do with this? What do I need to do? Do I need to use the tank controls for this? Oh. Oh my God, yeah, you can reverse and, oh, this is fantastic. All right, so we want to, do we have to like clear a path or do something with these barrels? Maybe we just need to take this thing upstairs. Here we go. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea why we're taking this upstairs. Um, exit? Not here. Why the hell not, Manny? We need to like go forward a bit? Okay. We've gone forward a bit and we're able to exit. Let's push the button. All right, you bastards. Here we come. We're gonna plow through the VIP room with a forklift for some reason. And it's gonna be a lot of goddamn fun. Better get in there quick, Manny. Come on, run over. Because look, we're getting out in a sec. And I think that big green guy is gonna just shit his pants when he sees this. This is gonna be fantastic. Do I have to like break through? Oh. Okay, it's slowing down. And here we go. Whoosh. Beep, 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 beep. I can't get through this door. Why the hell not, Manny? Why don't you try using the forks, huh? Here we go. Beep, 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 beep. I can't get through this door. Manny. Why not? Damn it. Do I have to open this door manually? What's out here, even? Oh, shit. Okay. Do we have to hold the... Do we have to just, like, hold the door open somehow? Yeah, we do. Or is it open now? Will it stay open? No, it won't. Do not take me back down. All right, we're gonna use our scythe or something. We're gonna use the scythe on the door. All right, come on, Manny. Not the key, not that, this. Here we go. We're gonna use this on the door, hopefully, if it lets us. I have to use this. Oh, no. I don't wanna mess up my blade. Manny. We took it out preemptively, I think. We want to hold it open so that we can drive the forklift truck into the VIP. I, I feel like this is 
something I've always wanted to do in my life, but didn't realize until now that it's legitimately something I've wanted to do my whole life. I would love to drive a forklift truck around a VIP lounge in some sort of like racetrack or casino or what the shit, Manny? What the hell? Why can't we do this? He doesn't want to mess up his blade. It's down here now. Can we actually go in here? Let's put away our blade. Oh, I wonder if we need to do something with the, with this now, or can we not? Or can we? Run over there. Nothing. Oh, it's empty. Can we actually go in here? <laughs> Where does it go? Oh shit, we can. What was this guy complaining about? This is awesome in here. I don't need any cat meat. Is it all cat meat? Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. More of that cat meat. Is there anything not cat meat in here, possibly? Oh, fuck, I could never go in here be before. Maybe I have to, like, park the forklift truck in. So how am I going to hold this open? All right, we'll come back to this because there's one more thing that I can do. There's, there's one more tip that's been given, and then hopefully I won't need any more tips. Oh my god, Glottis. All right. We're going to go back to uh, the casino because... We might have a lead on... We have to go talk to Lupe, apparently. Um, and this is something that uh, completely slipped my mind. And honestly, I think even if nobody had told me about this, I would never have figured it out. I would never have... It would have taken me hours of just trying everything on everything and it just wouldn't have happened. Alright. Come on, Manny. Hop to it. We have to go back topside. We could have probably done this when we went up last time, but it doesn't... Ah, actually, there's another way around, isn't there, where you don't have to take this elevator. Man, I'm getting so used to Rubicava now. I actually know my way around and stuff because we've been here so goddamn long. All right, Lupe. Hold on, Toots. We're coming to get you. We're going to use... We got that stupid card, right, with the tongue on it and the number 22. I don't know if you remember, but Lupe was talking about having some picture and number sorting system. Apparently, you have to give this card to her or something, and something happens. <clears throat> but it, oh, the giveaways are always in the dialogue, so I just need to be more mindful of the dialogue. All right, Lupe, what's up? How you doing? Evening, Lupe. Come on, reveal yourself, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Hi. Uh, okay, back to work. Okay, back to work. Okay. All right, let's give her this... What are you doing down there, Lupe? Jesus Christ. All right, we want to give Lupe this. Lengua. Number 22. Lupe, here you go. I would have never have figured this out. Hey, this is a card for my new co-check system. Seriously? You do care. You're right, I do, Lupe. You bet this is so exciting. I know, okay, I can't okay. wait. Hold on. Okay, give me my coat. It's gonna be like a bikini or something. Just wait for lengua, it. Lengua, lengua. Ah, here it is. Great. Oh, darn. What? What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, with pleasure. What is it? This can't be yours. Yeah, that is. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't None of your business. There was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, it's the girl that got spotted by Nick. It's her coat. What do I do with this coat now? Let's let's look through it. We're gonna rifle through this coat. Just don't mind me, Lupe. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. What is it? What does it say on it? All right, we have to put my finest detective skills. Oh. All that this paper says is number thirty-six, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Number 36, the rusty anchor. What the shit? All right, hang on a second. We need to look at this again. Number 36. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Number 36, the rusty anchor. Number 36, the rusty anchor what the it's lola's jacket lola what a nice jacket what a what a truly splendid color of jacket as well number 36 the rusty anchor i wonder if maybe if we give this to lupe as well 
Lupe? We're giving you this piece of paper. Alright. Here you go. Get me the rusty anchor. Come on. Number 36. Lupe? Hi. 36? That number's not even part of my system, Manny. And I don't think I'd let somebody check an old rusty anchor back here anyway. Why the shit not, Lupe? Oh, maybe Salty knows. He's a seaman, right? Number 36, the rusty anchor. Or maybe that's something to do with the 36? Something to do with maybe the roulette thing? Possibly? Alright, we're gonna go see if Salty knows what this is. Number 36, the rusty anchor. Number 36, the rusty... I'm holding the paper and I'm really thinking hard about what this could actually mean and I have no idea. Number 36, the rusty anchor. Number... 36. It's not a. Th I wonder if. I mean, there's a lot of people. Manny? <laughs> Manny just walked through the door twice <laughs> to take the elevator down. Number 36, the rusty anchor. Well, maybe Toots in here knows about it. Does it strike you as something to do with poetry? I don't know. I mean, it could mean anything for crying out loud. Where is my stupid piece of paper? Do we want to reap her soul? I guess it's already been reaped realistically, but still. Where's this, uh, maybe we can give her the coat. What do you think of this, Toots? The rusty anchor? Yeah. Manny, I didn't know you were familiar with my early work. I oh. usually don't do the old stuff, but I'll swing this one just for you. Okay. Wind pierces my hull. An oh, iceberg. A needle. Yeah. Sweet. Whispered nothings. Sail tonight. A storm. This deathbed harbor by love's rusty anchor. Forever moored. I'm not sure what that means. I, I also don't know what that... What are you... Why are you gyrating all the time here? The rusty anchor. Maybe some of these, like, poetry people know? What do you think of the rusty anchor? Did you like that poem? I don't think that would shed any light on things. What did you guys think of the rusty anchor? I don't think that would shed any light How about on things. you guys? I don't think that would shed any light on things. Come on, call me Cumberbunch or whatever. That was fun. Can we use it with the mic and recite the poem ourselves? I don't think that would shed any light on things. Uh, he doesn't think that it would shed any light on things. Okay. So the rust loves rusty anchor. Does that mean we're stuck here forever or something? Maybe we have more dialogue options with her now. How about not? No, we don't. Well, catch you later. Keep practicing. Peace. Can we go in here now? No? Should I use the tank controls? Mind if I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. I really fucking do, actually. All right. Well, she's recited her poem uh, about the rusty anchor, and I had no idea what it means. Maybe if I look at it now, it'll, like, tell me the poem again without me having to go back and make her read it again, because I've already forgotten what she said, because I'm dumb as hell. Let's see. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. Number what is that supposed to mean? Number 36, the rusty anchor. Fuck. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Do we want to go and try uh, and see if Salty knows what the rusty anchor means? Sprouted? What's happening oh. to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because it's uh, about well, Oh no, I skipped it by card, accident. Manny. I have one. I just left it in my other coat. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Oh, I got to use the forklift to get Maximo safe. Uh, I can't board. All right, I'm ready to Okay, better go I finish. I better go finish packing. I you do that, son. All right, look at this. The rusty anchor. What do you think of this salty? You were originally the guy I wanted to come down and show this to. Number 36, the rusty anchor. What do you make of this? I don't think that would shed any light on things. Fuck you, Benny. All right, Salty, we're out of here. We're going to go try to figure out how to get that forklift all up in the... What's the fucking shortcut again? Is it this way? There is a short... Oh, yeah. The shortcut is number 36, the rusty anchor. What the shit could that mean? 
Does it have something to do? Every time there's a number, I always have to like consult this fucking thing here. What is this thing? Number 36. 32. Okay, so it's not that. It's nothing to do with this because there's no 36. Fine. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Where can we find out more about this blimp? It was something to do with the cat and the blimp. The, the blimp crashed and died. Maybe we want to get like a picture of... Can we actually talk to Toots up here? Or maybe show her this piece of paper? Maybe there's some... Oh, maybe like the poster or something? Tell me about this... Tell me about this thing. <laughs> I'm keeping this little gold mine oh, to I know. myself. All right, let's show her the rusty anchor uh, ticket and see what she... Can we, is it like back this way? Is it quicker to get to it going back? Probably not, actually. Christ almighty in hell. Here we go. I don't think that would shed any light on things. All right, perfect. Is there any way that we can just, like, photocopy these hey, without a note? Hey, official documents. Don't touch. Hey, what's up? Forgiving me yet? No, she's still angry. Okay, we can't talk to her about... We need to find some info about the blimp, I think. We need to find out the date that it crashed. And then maybe we can use that in the ticket machine and get a, a photo finish printing of the cat dying. Eh, that might work. I wonder if maybe we can give... Is this where we do the bets? Number 36, Rusty Anchor. Maybe it's like a race thing. Maybe we can give this piece of paper to this dude here and bet on it and win big time. Run, Manny! I don't think that would shed any light on things. <laughs> don't think... I think you're probably right, actually. I don't think it would shed uh, some light on anything. All right, fine. All right, so we need to get this forklift out of here somehow. Because I think we have to drive it. I wonder if Glottis, now that Glottis has yeah! been refreshed, I wonder if now we can talk to him. Oh, for crying out loud! Maybe we can show him this piece of paper Coming as well. Home soon? What the no, okay. Yeah! Fine. What do you think of this, Glottis? What do you think of this piece of paper that says air? number 36, the rusty anchor on it? Oh! That I've tried to give to everybody that I thought could maybe hear. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Good grief. Okay, we can't talk to him. We can't do anything. We need to get this forklift out of here. I wonder if maybe we have to go into the barrel again. Now that the... Let's try going into the barrel again, maybe? It's empty. Oh, we don't have the can opener anymore, though, do we? Fuck, look at this stupid thing. Jesus. All right, we're up here now. Can we get in again? Done that already. Yeah, you're right, actually. Can we pick it up? I don't need the hernia. It's empty, Manny. It, do it doesn't weigh anything. Glottis picked it up with you in it. I, I mean, he is bigger than you. It's got to be said, but still. Uh, okay, can we, uh, can we pick up the? Not picking that up. And we can use it, but there's nothing in it. Okay, and I think the thing should be. So if we use this, I think the forklift should be here. I think we just need to drive it into. So we can't open the door. Whilst we're in it. Do we need like a remote control or something? Or some way to press the button while we're in it? Oh, that might work. Hey, what the shit? Okay. Uh, so, there's a lever here that just fucking didn't... Okay, so I guess we can maybe open the... Is there a lever on the other side too? Like, can we like sidewind it? That'd be sweet. All right, so we can get into it, and then we can lift it. Maybe we can just like bust the door open. Maybe if we just like park it. I can't get through this door. Okay, now get off. Not here. Oh, okay. So you can't do that. Not here. What about here? Not here. <laughs> Not here. All right. So if we open the door now, does this open the door? Oh no, we're going back down. Are we going back down? Yeah, we are. Damn it. I did not want to do that. Reverse. No effect. Oh, I think we need to get into that thing. Oh, okay. I see. We need to lift this thing. Maybe, like, when it gets past, there was, like, a door that we could go in. Does that make sense? All right. We're going to try it out. So, we want to do this. And then we want to use the... I don't know if we can use the the lever while we're actually on it. Okay, so we want to go like that. And then we want to, like, maybe 
get off. Not that's here. That's where we want to go. We want to go Not in that here. tunnel somehow. Maybe we have to like press the button to stop it there and then open the thing. All right, we're gonna try again. Come on, take hmm. us down. No effect. No effect. I wonder how we stop it with the. There's gotta be a way to stop it like midway, because there's definitely a thing down there. Maybe we have to just like. Just one button on the controls. Just one button. So, can we press it now? No hmm. effect. No effect. Stop. Hmm. No effect. No. Okay. So this is the. It's the blade control lever. What's this? It's the blade control lever. 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 Okay. We have a blade. I bet that thing's really easy to control if you're a big demon. Oh, so we have to somehow... Do we have to enlist Glottis somehow? Can we pick up one of these barrels? Uh, I never want to go near another one of those. Ooh. Uh, do it again. I never want to go near another one of those. All right, I don't think we need to do anything there. So, I guess we need Glottis to, like, help us here. But how are we going to convince him to come down here and use this? And how do we get it to stop where we need it to stop? Maybe you have to press the button like this time. Hmm. No effect. Poop. Hmm. No effect. Poop. Hmm. That's where we no want to go. Effect. I can't get through this door. But you can lift it, all right? So, <laughs> Glottis apparently, if you're a big demon, maybe you can sit in here and use this thing uh, whilst you're driving it, because that's kind of what we need to do, I think. What the hell, Manny? There we go. Alright, so we need to convince Glottis somehow to come down here. And the only way that we can do that, I uh, guess, is... To somehow empty the wine barrel again. Or maybe convince him that it's somehow empty. We tried to show him the ticket. That didn't really work. Nothing really else that we could give him. Unless he wants, like, a really small coat. Would he want a really small coat? There's nothing else in the small coat. I don't think. Come on! Glottis? Almost there! We need your shitting help, please. Run! Please help us. Coming home soon? What did you say, little kitty? Don't talk. We need it. We need a Come hand. On! Please, Glottis. Come with us and help us with the pretty forklift. Bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, Here, bad, have this bad. really small coat. Would you like pretty this? Bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. I wonder what we can do with Lola's jacket. I wonder if we can, like, rip it or something. Maybe we can use it on this. Maybe we can use it in here? The scythe doesn't work on anything. The scythe... Uh, I don't think a... The scythe... Here, let's use it on this. <laughs> Lola's jacket? I'm not doing that with Lola's jacket. Does not want to do that with Lola's jacket. And... I don't blame him, really. Do we need to do anything in here? What is all this? Is there like a secret? I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. Okay, it really does not need any cat meat either. I don't need any cat meat. All right, Manny. You win this time. No cat meat. All right, so we've got the forklift truck there in there now. Uh, we need to use it to get the safe, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if maybe now um, we can go... What the shit? Is it like this way? I wonder if we we have to drive it in here, I think. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Matt's office while he's meeting with Nick. Now where can we use the coat? We need to somehow use... I wonder if maybe we give it to, like, Poetry Girl? Should we try to give Lola's jacket to Poetry Girl? Will that make any difference whatsoever? Probably not. And where can we find out about this blimp? I wonder if we give this to this guy. It's not going to shed any I light don't think that would on shed things. Any light on things. No, you're right. Okay. <laughs> There's no light to be shed there. Uh, and neither is there any light to be shed up here, I don't think. So, have I missed anything here? The blimp? Is there like a plaque or something for the blimp? Manny, come on. Hurry up. Jesus. Hey, yeah. the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. All right, nothing about the blimp there. Uh, number 36, Rusty Anchor. 
I'm keeping that at the forefront of my mind, number 36, Rusty Anchor, because I feel like uh, it's it means something. Love's Rusty Anchor. Where is Love's Rusty Anchor? You tell me. I have no idea. Um, let's go give this jacket to the poetry girl and see if that does anything. Uh, maybe she just wants to wear it. Wait, do you think poetry girl would want to just wear this coat? Oh, maybe. Poetry girl, here we come. Got a new coat for you, toots. What do you think? You're gonna love this one. Uh, maybe you can wear it when you're doing your poetry recitals. Would you like that? No? Here you go, look. Maybe she'll smell it or something and be like, Oh, Nick smelled like that and he was having an affair. What the hell's going on? I'm not doing that with Lola's jacket. All right, fine. <laughs> Damn it. Do we want to do this again? Maybe like... Hey. Again? Yeah, Many yeah. Many of my regulars are getting bored. I can't, Just I can't get enough of it. Come on. Wind pierces Okay, wind pierces my, my hull. An iceberg. A needle. Sweet. Whispered nothings. Sail tonight. Yeah. This deathbed harbor. Uh-huh. I love's rusty anchor forever. Moored. I'm not sure what that means. No, I really... Thanks. Can you please shed some light on that? I have no fucking idea what you're even trying to describe here with this stupid love's rusty anchor. Christ almighty. Do I want to talk to these guys, maybe? Maybe these guys have some, like, new leads. They hey, love me. Hey, did now. I ever tell you guys that you were Salvador Lee? We hear you. Okay, nothing. I just, like, skipped through all of it, too. All right. I mean, I can do the poetry, and I'm sure that I'll bring the house down because everybody thinks I'm really awesome now, which, you know, of course, is a, a good thing. All right. Well, um, I mean, we're back to where we started. We're right back here where we started. We've made some progress. Um, at least we have made some progress. Now, uh, Naranja has been declared dead, so we have his spot. Uh, we've got the forklift in the elevator. We just have to figure out somehow how to maybe get it down that passage that you pass by. We have to somehow convince Glottis that he needs to use the elevator. We have a small jacket, which I have no idea uh, what we would use with the small jacket um, to declare somebody... Uh, maybe, like, take it back to the morgue or something? I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, if we just go through the inventory, uh, we have the scythe back, we've got the note, we've got the, uh, wine or whatever, the gold-flecked stuff. We have this thing, which I think it's race two, and maybe we have to find out, uh, when the blimp crashed. I, the only race I think we'd ever want to get a picture of the photo finish is probably the one where that cat died. So that's something. We've got the baster full of, like, I don't know, hell. We've got the key to the lighthouse, which we've unlocked. We've got the small jacket, which I have no idea. I mean, I could suppose we could give it back to Lupe. Could try anyway. We've got number 36, Rusty Anchor, uh, which sheds light on nothing. Um, and we still need to get the tools, and we still need to get the safe, uh, the briefcase of money, so that we can get our union card from Charlie. So that's where we're at. Anyway, um, again, apologies for the episode yesterday. I realized that the only progress I made was putting dog tags <laughs> on a guy and then spending like 35 minutes trying to figure things out. Hopefully today's episode made up for it where uh, I actually um, sort of employed some tips to make some progress uh, and we'll be back trying to figure out the rest tomorrow. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.